so this is Artred Studio and uh, for the basic navigation is if you press shift and left click and drag sorry sh shift and left click and drag I'm doing it with my mouse left click and drag then it will zoom in and out okay shift left click and drag huh. left and right drag okay and to move the canvas um, only left click and drag okay only left click and drag uh, to let's see there is an option for rotating the canvas also uh, to rotate the canvas alt left click and drag as this is a painting software you are going to use this basic navigations quite a lot and to reset everything hold sorry I was saying left click right it will, it will be right click right click okay. huh. and huh, hold uh, left uh, press left click once in the screen I'm sorry, middle middle mouse button once. So this is, I'm using a paint tab, so it's a little confusing. So if you press the middle mouse button once, so it will reset the entire screen. Okay. Okay. Um, again. Um, shift or control right click and drag to zoom alt right click click and drag to rotate drag uh, yes left or right or up and down kaisi and then uh, middle mouse button click once to reset the view okay okay uh, in the left hand uh, bottom corner we have all our tools okay we can use brush tools um, I mean uh, thick uh, flat brushes we can use watercolor brushes we have spatula we have uh, airbrush what is it ink pen stencils and various other thing globe pen felt pen I think this is sketch pen type Yes, uh, we have uh, roller, pencil, crayon, stamp, uh, stamp and clone and stamp tool, eraser, color tubes, and uh, glitter. Uh, also, we can uh, um, you add uh, text. We have the filling tool, fill tool option. We have all the basic uh, selection options and uh, eyedropper tool to pick a color and uh, then here what is this thing i don't know sample you can create a okay i don't know i don't use that okay we have the option to dip your color if you want to clean your color in uh, you can dip uh, your brush into water and we are going to uh, look at these things later on and in the right hand corner uh, we have the, our basic uh, rgb color color panel and then this is the layer panel um, we can create multiple layers from here okay and we can create groups we can delete it and the other options we can go through here okay and there is this tracing tool I'm not going to you know exp uh, explain all these things because mostly we are going to use because other options we already have those things in Photoshop so mostly we are going to explore the painting tools okay uh, so before starting painting one thing that uh, we should uh, uh, look here that uh, this is the canvas and you can change the canvas settings but this is a very basic uh, canvas of uh, art Ridge and we can change it uh, the shortcut is control sh uh, shift control C or yes this is the going to see canvas you can go to the canvas settings and there we have the uh, if you make it metallic it will become a lot more glazier uh, and uh, we have the grain size and right now you are, you are not you, you may not 
seeing a lot of changes here so let me change the canvas let's say art uh, let's say canvas uh, basic canvas and we can change the grain we can make it more rough or we can make it metallic so it will become oily become oily uh, shiny surface uh, you can turn on and off canvas light and if you turn off light uh, canvas light the canvas is almost un un uh, invisible um, invisible but uh, why does it matter it matters when you brush uh, when you print something on it because the brush is going to interact with it so I'm going to come to it later okay um, then canvas color you can add a canvas color like a tint on canvas so we have that option too and uh, after that let's let's explore what are the options we have we have different type of papers I prefer the watercolor paper and when you am doing watercolor or uh, mostly I like to use my own watercolor paper scanned one and uh, we have uh, canvas rough canvas smooth canvas all the different type of canvas okay so we can crank up the roughness from here also and uh, so this is basically it for the canvas so let's start with uh, I don't know let's see let's start with this one um, let's close the canvas settings and uh, the rotation will happen automatically Mm. Um, uh, by the way to uh, increase and decrease the brush size all you have to do is press shift on your keyboard okay and this is the rotation is happening when I'm holding the shift this is not the basic rotation the, uh, the normal rotation I think the, so if you press shift press shift and click and drag okay and that means left click and drag you can crank up your brush size up to 500 and also you can uh, increase and decrease your brush size from here but that's actually up to 100 and if you want more thickness than this then you have to uh, shift press shift and click and drag to crank, uh, increase it up to 500 okay uh, so now let's explore the brushes so there is whenever you select a tool you get this preset box and there you can actually get a lot of different type of brushes like but i am not going to actually this uh, canvas is too much rough so maybe i'm going to use a soft one so. okay so um so there is a lot of different type of brushes here like this one you can see that uh, we get a pretty realistic result we get the brush um, you know brush strokes the texture of brush stroke also so the amazing thing here is if you select a lighter color and, and remember this is a we are uh, uh, making a opaque uh, painting so the color grays blends like this let's select a different color I know uh, so let's select, select a different color and uh, so and uh, if you turn off this uh, by the way if you turn off the um, this option which is the auto clean and if you turn that off then what is going to happen is you, you can see that whenever I am making a brush stroke it's actually using the per, uh, the particular color that we are we have we have selected from our color palette but that doesn't actually happen in real world when you paint on something your uh, your color of your brush gets messy but and you don't get this kind of refreshed uh, so color uh, so for to get that we have to turn off the auto clean and uh, let's say now we have painted something like this and now if you repaint you can get you, you are going to get the last color that you are using and it will continuously go back to the color that you had and uh, like this so 
so to uh, if you need to clean your brush right away so what you have to do is dip your uh, brush into the water and that will you can see that that water is becoming red because we had selected the red color uh, press 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 control alt control shift and f to get the full view so if you dip your brush into the water you can see the water became red and then what is going to happen is you are going to get the fresh color again and uh, so this is you can also use white color <laughs> this is never ending clean water okay and uh, so this is the very basic thing and after that uh, let's see that uh, okay let's actually there is an option which is uh, right click and you can clean your layer like this and then we have different type of brushes you just go through all the brushes to explore them uh, dry brush or whatever it is and but uh, i mostly don't use these brushes uh, these pre presets I make my own brush and I'm going to show you how and you can see that the brush actually is getting blend with the canvas so that's why choosing the canvas before you start your project is very necessary otherwise you're not going to like if you replace this canvas right now so you're not uh, these brushes are going to be you know stay this way so it's not going to blend with the background so you sh need to select the uh, background before you start painting so uh, let's explore all these brushes this is a very thick brush so uh, everlasting oil so normal round brush so i'm going to actually let me fi finish all these things i don't really like all these brushes so these are all opaque colors I'm, I'm, I'm coming to watercolors after this thing so uh, this is a very um, dry brush so if you want to use this kind of brush you can and after that uh, we have unclean brush i know what it is so it is it is actually going to be very messy and let's uh, actually what i usually do is i close this option okay like this maybe okay close this option and whenever you paint something and you go to you know to this area and all these things are dis going to disappear all these pop-up menus okay uh, let's go um, let's go to these options so let's select the thick close press at first okay uh, so let's explore this option normally I use this option so uh, if you increase the pressure of a brush then what is going to happen is you can see that a uh, little bit uh, thumbnail view here so it actually you are going to get this kind of a brush to glue you are basically uh, putting more pressure on the brush so that's why you are getting this kind of thick uh, brush stroke okay and uh, okay and if you uh, decrease this pressure then what is going to happen is uh, at first it's narrowing down but uh, what is going to happen you are not going to get any brush stroke you are going to get flat colors okay but you are going to get the blend uh, quite right you can see that uh, with the this thing with the thickness it's interacting with the brush strokes quite pretty well and uh, the the resolution of this image is not quite high so that's why you are getting this kind of pixelation and uh, let's so increase the brush stroke and uh, then you can see and uh, the thinner is basically it's going to make the brush uh, brush opacity down okay so obviously when you are uh, you know uh, decreasing your brush opacity you are not going to see all these uh, different strokes shiny strokes uh, 
so the thin has put the thin has down and the loading is basically how much color you are loading uh, at one time in your brush so if you turn on the load loading to 100 percent what is going to happen is you are going to get almost never ending color okay but uh, if you turn it down to let's say like less than 10 percent then what is going to happen is something like this okay and you can see that this this is the basically loading of this brush this much but when you are uh, painting over this color it's actually getting more color from the paint okay um, so this is basically the loading and you can go less than 5% also so to get much more thin of here yeah. so I basically prefer something between 10 to 12 this kind of thing mm -hmm. Pani option because the auto clean option is turned on auto it's automatically getting getting cleaned so if we turn it off then our brush is going to get messy and then we can clean it and uh, and another thing is if you put more pressure on your pen you are going to get more and more these strokes okay apart from this pressure parameter here so you have to put some more pressure like this let's say i'm picking white and i'm if i put pressure on it i'm going to get this so i can clean on my water and can get the white again and if we put less pressure then actually it's kind of getting going to be blend with the color okay uh, after that we have the aspect ratio the aspect ratio is basically the aspect ratio of the circle of the brush tip and we, if we turn it down then what is going to happen it's going to become a ellipse uh, the oval shape and we can we can rotate uh, the the brush actually like this and tilt it in a particular way that we want and uh, rotation i don't think so and then we have these thinners i forgot what it actually does anyway and we can get hard square this kind of brush also and this is the auto clean option for the color dipping and instant dry is basically if you turn on instant dry what is going to happen it's not going to blend with the background color it's gonna look like the the color that you have applied before it have been already dried so it's going to paint over it and you can see the it's actually the thickness of information is it's preserving the thickness information of uh, the previous color okay so this is instant dry and if you if if, if you like you have painted fast tone already and you, you don't want to paint over it so maybe if i if i paint something here um, so it's going to al always blend with the last color so you can check instant dry or what you can do is uh, actually you can create another layer and you can paint like this okay and for each and every layer you can actually change the blending mode so right click right click or click on this option then you get this blending mode uh, dialog box uh, this uh, menu bar and from there you can change uh, watercolor blending mode I didn't see okay uh, so go to blending mode and multiply and or whatever you want so blending mode and maybe screen okay so let's go back to normal blending mode and normal and uh, we have this this is basically the uh, visibility turn on and on option you can lock a layer if you don't want to mess with it uh, like you have you can lock all or lock the transparency lock the paint lock the position 
or you can lock all um, then you have uh, the semi transparency the opacity option like if you click and drag down then you get this kind of so, uh, icon there and you can you get the semi transparency okay so this is basically the uh, opaque color option and let me show you some um, example I don't know what whether it is in yes it is in outreach. You can see the details here. This is the chalk I guess that the chalk the wax tool. This is what for animation you can create your backgrounds here you can do your frame by frame watercolor or whatever your paint effects type of thing here but you cannot load a sequence like you can do in Photoshop um, so that's a obviously that's it's not what it's made for like it's for only for painting now so um, I had uh, quite a few other things, other examples too, but I cannot find them right now. Anyway, um, got I will away. let's go to the watercolor brushes so basically you know use this thing and let's go to the watercolor brushes and before starting watercolor I am going to create a watercolor texture oh this is the background color so it's not delete getting deleted so I'm going to clean the layer and in the canvas uh, shift control c in the canvas settings i'm going to change the background uh, change the uh, change our canvas into a watercolor paper or we can actually import a watercolor paper and by the way you can save the entire project file not only you can you not only uh, you know export the, the project files as a as a jpeg or png you can save the entire project file as a psd file and you can open it in Photoshop and all the blending mode options and all these things is going to be preserved there so uh, let's go to the watercolor uh, brushes and uh, I'm going to select I'm going to create this kind of a tea saturated color and for watercolor brushes my, my recommendation would be go to the blending mode always go to the blending mode and make it multiply and you can you can see this is this one the round brush and you can blend your colors like this and let's select a darker one and you can see that as I have started my uh, started coloring from the this water this colored portion so it's already getting blended if I start from here I'm going to get a little bit black and obviously I'm not changing the parameters yet I'm just using a default default brush so uh, it will it will 
if you want a dry treatment either you can use the instant dry or you can create a new layer and uh, this you know Artridge watercolor tools are very good for doing second tones or fixing your painting in final tone so, so either you can do that or let's say you want to wash want a wash out look just go to white and paint so you are going to get this kind of washed out look and over it let's say i want to create i am going to create a new layer i'm again and uh, let's see the watercolor blending mode okay it's good um and the uh, the redo is in control y i think you can change it from the from the what is it called uh, preference so i will keep it multi multiply as of now so let's go to i've done okay go to multi make it multiply and i'm going to do a second tone so going to select a saturated color and maybe I will crank down the thinner so I can get much more thick colors like this to give it pressure Mm -hmm. if the what is in light on uh, oil only huh. no 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 nah. it's because of the blending mode okay normal hole eta dekhte erakom lagto and first of all amra use kochhi na uh, opaque brush you see the difference okay. and let's use the that thing let's use watercolor mode or we can use multiply mode so the watercolor mode is a little bit better um let's go to the what is the blending mode watercolor and you can actually change the hue saturation and all these things later on that option is also there which one that option is there but I cannot find it right now maybe adjust layer color and 
एंड अच्छा लेट्स ओपन ए ऑफ दिस वन आल्सो ऑफ एंड लेट्स ओपन ए इमेज सो एम गोइंग टू इंपोर्ट ए इमेज फाइल ओके कैंसिल import image file into uh, to a layer and from here i'm going to import let's say this one and i'm going to increase the size and i'm going to create a new layer so let's so i'm going to create a new layer make it water color something like this water color mode no it is not blending with the imported layer because that's on the separate layer and that's what actually i want because that's uh, you know after the first layer dries out you uh, paint on the second layer so um if you let's see if that is possible or not like if we want to uh work on the, the on this layer so no it is going to give you a pretty okay it's not that bad but mm. this is how is go it's going to be so this is basically the water color and the opaque color in uh, artrage studio and then we have the pencils different kind of pencil and don't really have a lot of variation for the pencils but which gets the job done and then we have spatula so let's explore this kuch oh क्या डिलीट किया मैंने कुछ फन टूल्स है यहाँ पे लाइक वी कैन गो टू द ब्रश ट्यूब्स एंड वी कैन एक्चुअली हाँ and after that we can use the the roller to roll like this or you can use a spatula to mix those colors so maybe तो ये ग्रीन इंटेंसिटी इतना ज़्यादा था कि उसके साथ मिक्स हो गया एंड ग्लिटर देन अगेन एंड वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रीसेट्स ऑफ ऑफ द स्पैचुला आल्सो
जस्ट वाटर ऑफ कोर्स और एक सबसे बढ़िया मुझे लगता है ये क्रेन्स ये क्रेन्स का मिक्सिंग बहुत अच्छा है लाइक एक एक इसको क्लीन कर देता हूँ क्लीन द लेयर एंड प्रेशर थोड़ा कम करते हैं एंड गो टू मे बी दिस कलर एंड देन मे बी द लाइट कलर and depending on the the canvas uh, texture it will uh, obviously change so अगर ये canvas let's clean it again okay तो clean um कहाँ पे clean the layer and control shift C canvas paper canvas texture texture and roughness थोड़ा कम grain size थोड़ा कम and now एक्चुअली so, uh, ये क्या हो रहा है पता है ये प्रीवियसली जो कैनवस का कलर है वही ले रहा है तो वी डोंट नीड टू सेव इट सो लेट्स ओपन ए न्यू पेंटिंग डोंट सेव देन गो टू कैनवस कलर गो टू कैनवस हाँ 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 आता हो कहाँ पे पेपर एंड वाटर कलर पेपर ओके देन इसके बाद गो टू इफ यू गो टू चौक देन थोड़ा डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वो मिलेगा यू हैव दिस टू ऑप्शन वन इज द सॉफ्टनेस एंड इज फॉर द प्रेशर देन वी हैव वर्क्स देन सी वो ब्लेंडिंग वाला वो ऑप्शन हमेशा अगर तुम यहाँ से शुरू करोगे एंड देन यहाँ पे आओगे देन ऑब्वियसली धीरे धीरे ब्लेंड होगा क्योंकि ये ये जो कलर है क्योंकि जब वॉक्स मोड में हो तब उसका लाइक इट्स लाइक ड्राई पेस्टल तो उसका जो कलर है वो थोड़ा ज़्यादा बाहर तक स्प्रेड करता है एंड uh, अगर तुम बाहर से कलर शुरू करोगे देन इफ यू गो इन तो ये अच्छे से ब्लेंड होता है ठीक है ओके देन इरेजर में भी अगर चलो एक ब्रास्टर क्रिएट कर लेते हैं उससे पहले ओ इंस्टेंट ड्राई तो इरेजर भी इसका बहुत अच्छा है लाइक uh, like, ये अगर प्रेशर तुम कम कर दोगे तो ये बहुत सॉफ्टली इसको इरेज करता है जो अच्छा है देन सॉफ्टनेस अगर कम करोगे देन इसके अंदर तो एक टेक्सचर जैसा वो फीलिंग भी देता है और देन क्लोन एंड स्टैम्प टूल उसमें तो जाने बोलने का कुछ ज़्यादा कुछ है नहीं देन अगर ऐसा कुछ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कौन सा कौन टाइटा एटा ही तो यूज़ कुछ तो जिस एक एक्सप्लोर करो तुम्हारा ठीक है देन उसके बाद ये एक था अरे हाँ 
দিচ্ছি দিচ্ছি এবার কার দোকান দাঁড়াও 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 আর দেন রোলার ভি এ আর রোলার স্পিন আচ্ছা নেই কাম করেগা অয়েল কে উপরে দাদা আচ্ছা কাম করেগা হ্যাঁ তোরা ঠিক অয়েল রাইতা তো ও আচ্ছা সে মিক্স কর লেতা ওকে তো তোমরা সবাই ট্রাই করো ট্রাই করো তুমি সব ঠিক আছে पहले तो थोड़ा नेविगेशन में प्रॉब्लम होगा बट बाद में सही हो जाएगा हर एक टूल करना ना ना हो गया ट्राई करो ट्राई करो छः बजे तक 